Today, we're gonna replace an acrylic side window with glass. Stay tuned. Acrylic is an amazing substance. You know, acrylic has some great benefits too. Acrylic allows case manufacturers to put side panels into computers for very little cost. Acrylic also has amazing clarity, especially when it's brand new. When it gets older, not so much. That kind of actually moves into its downside. Unfortunately, acrylic will scratch if you breathe on it wrong. When this case was new, this side panel was amazing looking. It was extremely clear and really looked great. Unfortunately, after a few times cleaning it, even with microfiber cloths and simply blowing it off with air, it just doesn't matter. It's collected scratches over time and it looks absolutely awful now. So what we're gonna do today is I'm actually gonna replace this acrylic panel with a piece of glass. Now, glass has benefits and downsides as well. One of the downsides to glass is the fact that it's expensive. It's expensive for a case manufacturer to put a glass side panel into a case rather than acrylic. And because of that, that's why glass cases always cost more because you know, glass costs more money. Um, the other downside is, is if you notice a lot of tempered glass cases use tinted glass. And the reason why they use tinted glass is because glass has a high iron content in it and it gives it kind of a green tint to it. And so to avoid that, they just use tinted glass so it gives it more of a gray look. So I didn't want that. I didn't want to use tinted glass. I wanted to use clear glass. And so what I did is I actually went with Starfire glass. This is a low iron glass, so it still has the clarity in it, but it doesn't have that green tint. Unfortunately, Starfire glass, and I didn't know this until purchasing the glass for this video, only comes in quarter inch or bigger. So this is actually a pretty heavy chunk of glass. And because of that, I actually decided not to go with tempered glass because honestly, this thing's gonna be practically bulletproof when it's done. So installing this piece of glass shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. At least I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Um, these same tips should be able to help you install a piece of glass into any side panel that has an acrylic panel in it already or even a side panel that doesn't. So we're gonna get to doing this right now. I'm gonna move the cameras around a little bit closer and we're gonna start to install this and see how it goes. So the way I plan on doing this is on this case panel, there's these little metal tabs going all the way around the acrylic. I'm just gonna bend these up so we can get the acrylic out. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut these tabs off once I peel them all up, simply because I don't think the glass itself is gonna fit in here properly without these things, with these things in the way, unfortunately. All right, now that we got these all bent up, we should be able to pull the acrylic panel straight up and out. And there we go. There's the old acrylic panel out of the way. Now, the way this acrylic panel was made is Fractal Design actually created a little area right here that is a clearance for the 120 millimeter fan in the back. Well, I don't have a 120 millimeter fan. I actually have an EK flat reservoir there. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind when I put the glass panel in. The glass panel isn't clearanced and it's also really thick. So what I'm gonna do is on the back side of the panel, I am actually going to make sure the glass is just right on the edge, just so it covers the hole. So it looks like the next step we're gonna have to take is gonna involve a Dremel. Um, I wasn't expecting this, but the edge of this side panel, I thought it was folded all the way over and apparently it's not. It's only folded in 90 degrees and unfortunately this isn't gonna work. So we're gonna have to cut this lip off all the way around. My idea is, is to cut it at an angle here and we should be able to keep the shape of the actual side window here. But um, if you're gonna be doing this on a case that doesn't have a side window in it, then this is where you're gonna wanna take note because you're actually gonna have to cut 
cut your own hole for the glass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this thing out real quick and see how it comes out. So the next step that we're going to do is we're going to actually attach a rubber seal that's going to go all the way around the opening for the window. This rubber seal doesn't have any function other than aesthetics. So we're going to set this in before we actually place the window in. Now that we have the rubber seal installed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a box cutter to cut the seal to give it a really nice seam right here. And the seam is really only important on the outside of the seal, but still do the best that you can. All right, there we go. So now we're going to put these two pieces together here. We should have a pretty good seal. Now this, this seal really doesn't stay in here real well by itself. So what I need to do is when we put the glass in, the pressure from the glass should hold the seal in. So we're going to flip it over now. and we're going to tape the glass in. So what I'm gonna to use to tape the glass in is 3M VHB tape. This is some really sticky tape, so this should be able to hold the glass in really well. Now I'm not gonna stick the tape across the back because the back is just barely gonna be in the seal right here because of the clearance issues that we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the tape down the sides, the top, the front, and the bottom. So we're gonna do that right now. And I'm gonna stick this tape right up against the seal as close as I can. And I'm going to leave the backing on the tape right now because we don't want to pull that off quite yet. And as I'm sticking this tape down, I'm making sure that the seal itself is all the way up against the tape. We don't want the seal hanging off on one portion. And there we go. So now I'm going to get the glass and we're gonna do a test fit with the backing still on it, just to see how the window fits.
All right, let's give it a go and see how it works. Okay, clearly getting this backing off is kind of difficult. Removing this backing is about the most tedious thing I think I've ever done. There we go. So now that we have the backing off, now we're gonna put the glass in and we wanna make sure to set the glass down in exactly the place that we want it because once it's down, it's not coming back up. And there we go. So even though there was a lot of problems, the finished product came out really good. Um, I absolutely love the look of this. It completely changes the look of the side of the case. I should no longer have an issue cleaning it. I should be able to just use regular window cleaner and should clean up just fine. The glass is extremely clear, so it was definitely worth going with the Starfire glass. However, you might ask, was this whole thing worth it? Well, there was a lot of issues. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it actually was. I didn't realize I was going to have to grind that lip around the entire case. And while doing that, I actually filled my phone up. So I'm not even sure if I got the entire thing recorded. Hopefully I got most of it recorded. But whether or not it's worth it, that really all depends on you, on what you want to do. Um, this Starfire glass by itself cost me about 60 bucks, and that was actually purchasing it from someone that I knew. So it would probably be even more expensive for you just to go into a glass shop and have somebody order you a piece of Starfire glass. So keep that in mind too. So the glass itself was practically the price of the case itself. So this may not be something that you want to do. It's definitely not something you want to do if you're just looking to save money. But if you want a really cool, unique case, then this is the only Focus G Mini that I know of that has an actual glass side panel. So there's that at least. But other than that, if this video was helpful, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. Have a great day.